everybody, it's Jeff, and like I said, I was going to give you an update on my first pickup on the New Beginnings catalogs. Well, I've done a pickup today, I've got quite a few stragglers left, um, but the good thing is, the very first catalogue I picked up, there's a little post-it on the catalogue, there was no order, but the first words were, like new catalogue, so that's uh, a good sign of a potential customer there. And then I went round, it was probably about 90 something catalogues and already I've picked over a hundred pounds worth of orders. Uh, you can see loads of order forms there and on past records uh, since Viva MK has been going and I've been putting the catalogues out, that's at least double uh, the amount of orders I've picked up already from that area and looking through them the New Beginnings catalogues, I'd say possibly 60% of the orders are out of the New Beginnings catalogue. I say I haven't analysed it too closely yet. And some other good things I've found from it is uh, quite a few orders have come from people where I was just about to give up. They've ordered nothing from Clean Easy at the beginning of the year and they've ordered nothing from Viva MK in the flimsy catalogue, the everyday essentials, as we've been building the catalogues up, they've ordered nothing out of those. Uh, a lot of people have looked at the catalogues and as you've seen, they've got plenty orders. And I don't know whether that's uh, with sticking the little orange uh, labels on that we've recommended you do and putting the little letters through. Uh, I've got to print a lot more out of that don't get them all back but it's had the desired effect whether those have helped or not I don't know but the important thing is if I hadn't have put those catalogs out I wouldn't have got the orders and one of the reasons besides seeing whether the New Beginnings catalogs worked the other reason I put the catalogs out is I'm about 40 CV short of hitting star position this period and I make sure that I'm going to hit that star position. So I put those catalogues out, they were dropped, I think it was Wednesday to pick up Saturday. I've got quite a few stragglers to go back to tomorrow. Uh, there's about 120 or so that are already out for a long drop to pick up after Christmas. All these catalogues I've picked up today and the ones tomorrow, those will be turned around and put back out again. And all of those before the new year, they should have been able to be collected again, turned around and put back out. So my idea is to get as many customers over the next four weeks, ideally all of them, to get that new beginnings catalogue with the letter and the little uh, orange sticker. So I hope that helps. Uh, it's just proof that it's worth retailing around the Christmas time. Um, after Christmas, I'll give you an update on the uh, long drop, uh, but I've been doing that for years now. It's always worked, so I don't see any reason it shouldn't work now. And I already know I've got one order to collect because the customer's already rang, so she's going away. Um, but I'll take the order over the phone from her tomorrow, so I don't need to collect that catalogue next Thursday. So the business works. And I say, if you want to make money, then the best thing to do is put your catalogues out. And if they're in your house, they're not going to make money for you. So I think I've got a busy time coming up at the beginning of January when all of these orders and the other orders I pick up, um, those go through. So it'll be one big delivery on the 3rd or 4th of January. So I hope that helps. And uh, I'll say, if you're thinking about it, don't think, just do it. Okay, bye now.